Hello fellow pipe smokers, Sean Ferris here with the StorytellersPipe.com coming to you today with a short review of Gay with Hoggers exclusive black cherry or as it's been known in the states for some time top black cherry. Well here's the problem they no longer import it to the United States so I had a choice and I chose to accept the mission. I had to get to the bottom of this. So, be aware, uh, if I was caught, I would have had to disavow. That would have been pretty. I uh, would have been late for dinner. That would have definitely not been pretty since I'm the cook. Uh, so, I dug deep, I did some repelling, things got a little sketchy, uh, kind of went sideways here and there, but I got to the bottom of it and I found out they've changed the name to Kindle Black Cherry. Now, why would they do this? Well, this is blended in the Kindle tradition, uh, natural flavors, essences, nothing synthetic, uh, they can only use approved flavors for blends in the UK at the time that this was started. So uh, that is why there's a throwback to the name. Unfortunately, until we really started doing some digging and made some phone calls, and uh, there was a little bit of crying involved probably. Uh, well, definitely a little bit of crying involved. I, I was very unhappy about this because it's one of my favorite blends. Uh, as far as aromatics go, I smoke a bowl or more of this every day. I did not realize that my cellar had dwindled down to about 8 ounces, so panic mode set in when I realized I'm down to 8 ounces and I can't get this anymore. Uh, I should have known this. I own a pipe shop. Um, so that just goes to show how little I've been focusing on my personal piping and focusing more on the store. But uh, with that said, you open up the tin, and here is what it looks like. This is the new Kindle. Get that kind of back out of the way because it's messing with the light. This is from my cellar. Looks the same, it's identical. Same dark, uh, double processed Cavendish with a few Virginia lights mixed in. The tin note, you pick up on that natural black cherry, sweet tart, a little bit of fruit. Uh, I pick up on just the faintest, faintest hint of the Cavendish. So there's just a hair of sweet vanilla Cavendish in the background. Now this isn't a, a heavily cased Cavendish or extra sweet and this is all natural so uh, you're not going to have that sugary sweet you're going to have a natural sweet which is uh, difficult for some pipers to uh, make that association and connection when they smoke it it throws them off because when they think sweet they think sugar uh, but in the natural order of things and non-processed foods, this is how sweetness should be. So with uh, the smoke, you get a dark black cherry, um, very nice medium bodied cherry flavor, uh, slight natural sweetness, slight natural tartness. Uh, some people say that they pick up a little bit of Lakeland. What I pick up is a black cherry blossom uh, kind of essence on the back end of the note. I enjoy it very much. Uh, if you're not a fan of Lakeland, this may be a blend that works for you because the, the black cherry blends well with the Lakeland. You don't get that geranium rose. Uh, you get more of a, like I mentioned, a black cherry blossom. Um, if you're a fan of Rat Ray's Exotic Passion, Exotic Orange, 
this kind of has that same uh, style of aromatic. It, obviously, it's a completely different flavor. It's a black cherry instead of orange, but it carries the note very similarly, and I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, this is something that uh, if you're looking for a nice aromatic that's not sweet, not goopy, uh, give this one a shot. It's a very nice aromatic blend. I hope they bring it back in bulk, but at least we've got it in the tin as Kindle Black Cherry. So at least there's that. Uh, I can sleep a little bit better at night knowing that one of my favorites isn't going away. And uh, now that I've identified it and figured out what was going on, uh, it definitely makes uh, my life a little bit better. So with that, I appreciate you guys coming by and checking us out. Stop by the store at uh, thestorytellerspipe.com. Take a look at what we've got in stock. Let us know if there's anything that we don't have that you want us to carry, and we will see if we can get it. We are working on some things for some people right now as we speak. Uh, with that, happy piping, and I will see you next week.